Um, if I can figure out this thing. Great. The, just the message here is that kids are basically psychosocially uh, in good shape. The red line represents a clinical range on the um, psychosocial uh, uh, distress instruments. So I want to get to this slide, which gets at the core of our findings. The red bars are kids' responses. The open bars are parents' responses. These are categories that we coded from free text responses during our interview. And the point of looking at this is to really to say, are parents good proxies for kids? If they are, really, if they're saying the same things, they're concerned about the same things, we can get it done with the parents. In fact, though, we can see some very substantial and significant differences in the kinds of things that concern them. There's a bunch of stuff, let me just comment on first, where they're quite similar. Um, care about me, be nice and friendly to me, talk to listen to me is pretty close. Um, a lot of things that I think of as the kind of demeanor or style of personal interaction, the kind of things that people get drilled at in, in physician doc, uh, doctor patient communications courses and I assume nurse patient co communications courses, both kids and parents think that important. But what the kids care about and the parents don't seem to be so aware of is that kids are really sensitive to the more concrete daily tasks of care, bringing medications. Um, give me things to do while I'm in here. Uh, check on me a lot. I'm here alone by myself and I don't know really where I am. Uh, bring me food and things to drink. The, the label's cut off. This is stuff that I think when parents think about it, well, this is the nurse's job or the staff person's job. I don't need to be appreciative if they're doing that. But the kids are grateful and they um, really notice it. They don't have quite this adult wisdom that um, nurses or waitresses in white coats or something. So <laughs> what I think here is that we have some preliminary evidence that there's a real difference in the perspective and the things that um, kids care about and parents cared about. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that's unrelated to nursing that we also found that kids are really interested in. Contact with their friends, contact with um, family, frequent visitations from stuff outside. Getting treats is really a big hit. Um, none of this stuff is new, but the thing that's important is that the kids can report on it. And this gives us a basis and some hope that we can construct an instrument that will get at a child perspective from this. And because I'm being yanked off the stage, the future um, pr progress of our research will be psychometric analyses to see if we can form these things into uh, some kind of a scale. Development and piloting of this scale, this is obviously all beyond the inquiry work at this point, and um, trying to eventually see if we have a measurement instrument that's sensitive to a child-specific perspective, whether there are changes in nursing practices having to do with this child-focused experience that would really have an effect. Thank you. Okay. Once again, great, great work. And could I, could I just ask one quick question? Can I assume that the, uh, the, on those red and white bars where we see a big separation that we're talking about statistical significance? Uh, not yet. Uh, this is, we, we really are going to do formal analysis when we get all the data in and the, um, uh, our final coding worked out. Right. That's fine. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, questions? Uh, So I've been really interested in this topic um, from the very beginning, as I am interested in all of the topics. Um, but, I, I, but I remember, I think, at the first meeting um, that one of the ideas that I think you had in your aim to, and I may be confusing some or missing some of the subtleties, but the idea of comparing the perception um, by the parent with the perception of the child. I believe that wasn't in your original proposal, but in fact came out of an interaction during this meeting. Saw the wisdom of our ways after coming to uh, <laughs> this conference and having that suggestion. Yes. Do you have plans then to also compare this to two weeks following discharge, which is the more common time, and find out how those are different? We hadn't thought about that 
um, but it is a, has been in the back of my mind that we could certainly retrieve that data and uh, take a look at that. And in future studies, we would use those data as uh, potential outcomes also. Um, I, I think it's a really interesting question. Uh, uh, many years ago, I did a um, study of how hospitalized adult psychiatric patients viewed their um, experience in the hospital versus several weeks later, and it's remarkable how um, certain aspects of the evaluation of the experience um, change over time. So, for example, like the bottom one, are, are you also going to be able to tell us at the end, uh, at least in the sample hospital, how many kids say they don't check on me often enough? And this says I'd like them to check on me often. Yeah, there is the next slide it, it, um, up there has things that, but. Um, All right. Well, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, Randy. <laughs> it's, it's our fault. Thank <laughs> you. Yep. Oh, interesting. Oh, I, I, we, 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 we cut you off so we can have some discussion. Is there anything else that's, uh, that I cut you off that you want to say? <laughs> uh, that's uh, reminds me of my time selection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, great, great work, and uh, we look forward to hearing more. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.